Happy Wednesday, First Baptist family. I am up in our youth room. This is the room where our students, our high school students gather on Sunday morning before they go to their Sunday school classes. It's also where our youth gather on Wednesday night. And uh, right now, they, they will be getting their third Wednesday night uh, tonight. The first two weeks we've had remarkable uh, participation, remarkable numbers as we begin to rebuild our youth ministry uh, following COVID. And I hope you're praying about that because uh, Devin, our young interim, is doing a fine job. And our young people, as you saw Sunday, were outstanding. They did a great job. And I know a lot of you who've taught them in Bible school and Sunday school and Upward and choirs and other events, you, some of you may have rocked them in the nursery. You have to feel a sense of, of uh, joy in watching them grow into the fine Christian young people they are. Now, this Sunday, we will gather at 9 and 11 for worship, contemporary worship at 9, traditional worship at 11. There will be youth Sunday school only this Sunday. We uh, will let you know, I hope soon, we'll be letting you know when we will resume in-person Sunday school classes for other ages. But this Sunday, we're going to continue looking at the early life of Jesus. And we're going to do so when he went down uh, to the wilderness. And that's where, after fasting for 40 days, uh, he was tempted. And those temptations were very, very real in his life. And, and I, I'm going to talk Sunday about exactly what each of those temptations meant, but also about how you and I face temptation in our lives today. So I brought something with me, which is up here in our youth room. I bought, uh, got something that uh, tempts me, Skittles. I don't know if you like Skittles or not, but I love Skittles. But I read the box here. One packet of Skittles is uh, only 60 calories. Now, that's not bad, but I keep reading. Total fat, 1%, that's not bad. Saturated fat, 3%, that's not bad. Sodium, almost none. Carbohydrates, 5%, that's not bad. But then we get down to the part that I have to pay attention to. Sugars, 11 grams of sugars in one little bag of Skittles. Now this is not a big bag like I used to eat. This is a little Valentine bag of Skittles. I want to show you just how little it is. Well, that's a whole bunch of them. That's 25 bags of Skittles. Now if I do my math, 25 times 22, uh, my math isn't that good, but that's, that's an awful lot of sugar. And if I sat here and ate all these Skittles like I want to, um, my A1C, if you know what that is, would be off the charts. So, you know what? When I see Skittles, I just have to think, that's for another day. Hopefully, one day, I'll eat a little bag of Skittles. But you know, with me, I don't know how it is with you, but one bag of Skittles isn't enough. If one bag's good, eight bags will be better. And that's sort of how temptation gets to me anyway. It's not always the first little bite uh, or the first act, it's what follows. And I think that's why Jesus, I think that's why Jesus taught us how to deal with temptation. So if you'll join us Sunday at 9 and 11, either in person or on Facebook or YouTube or Boxcast or one of the other platforms we have, our website, we'll talk about how Jesus dealt with temptation now, Jesus never saw Skittles, but he saw an awful lot of rocks that could be turned into bread. And unlike me wanting to feed myself, Jesus, as you know, once fed 5,000 people. And the love he had for them, he wanted the best for them, but he knew what temptation can do. So let's get together Sunday and talk about that as we look to the Word of God to see exactly what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 4. In the meantime, let's pray together. Lord God, thank you for... Uh, the, the ability that comes only from you uh, to successfully deal with temptation. Grant us the, uh, the desire to deal with temptation. And grant that through your word and through your son, we might find the capability to deal with it in this very moment. In Jesus' name, amen.